everyone, this is Sarah at Health by Sarah. Today I am showing you all of this in front of me is all the products that I've collected over the past several years being a rep for different MLM companies. This is so embarrassing, so I hope you don't judge me for this. But let's jump into it. Uh, you can't even see everything on the camera. These two bags are all of what's left of my collection of doTERRA essential oils, and I counted them before I did this video. There are 30 bottles left. Yes, 30. And I joined this company, I think it was in 2012. So these oils are like seven, almost eight years old, which is terrible. It's like I bought all these essential oils and I didn't really get use out of them. I did initially, but I feel like now they've probably lost a lot of their medicinal value. Um, so mostly what I have been doing to get use out of them, and this was before my second daughter was born earlier this year, I'd been just running the diffuser almost constantly because I'm like, I'm getting use out of these essential oils. I'm, I want to get rid of them, but I also want to use them even though they're really just a sunk cost. Um, yeah, this is just really shameful, but let me know in the comments if you have any good suggestions for me. I know I can use them in cleaning too, but I do not feel comfortable using them internally, um, maybe topically, but it's, I don't think again, that they have much of a medicinal value anymore. So I don't know what it's going to do other than make me smell really good or bad, depending on your opinion. <laughs> um, oh, also what I got from doTERRA, which is useful, is their essential oils book. And the part that I do find very useful about it is where you can look up, say, if you have a cold or if you have something else going on, um, they have like an A to Z list of ailments or they have it listed by essential oil, what their uses are or what their recommendations are. So um, if you do use essential oils, a book like this is pretty useful, but I would prefer personally to own a book that is not um, endorsed by doTERRA or Young Living because um, I'd rather see just a completely unbiased source doing this book. Um, next, I joined Beauty Counter. So from that year, I actually do have a few products that I still have. Um, I have the Tint Skin here. Um, so that actually lasted me a pretty long time. I have just a little bit left in here. Um, I have this eyeshadow duo that I've been trying to work through. Um, I have a tiny bit of concealer left from that year and the reason I still have it is because it does last pretty long. Um, I don't always use concealer and also I was using crunchy concealer for a while. Um, I also had purchased the charcoal um, bar. It's, it's a face wash bar from that year and so um, that lasts forever. So, uh, that's why I still have it. And I also use it to clean my makeup brushes, which is pretty useful. So actually like all the makeup and skincare stuff, I know I will get through eventually. It'll just take me some time to get through. Um, next let's move on to crunchy. I have a number of makeup brushes. They need to be washed obviously. So I'm sorry about that. Um, they're pretty good makeup brushes, um, so that was actually useful. Um, this is a finishing powder. Um, this just takes forever to get through. Oh, and that's the other thing I had from Beauty Counter. They have like a new logo now that's like a big B, but um, yeah, this stuff lasts forever, so that's why I still have it. Um, and then I'm on my last blush from Crunchy that I'm working through, but I have... Um, five of their eyeshadows and the eyeshadows just last forever. So I'm trying to work through them. Um, I actually had 
several more, but I gave them away to my mom and sister because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to get through all these eyeshadows, especially because you're supposed to use makeup within a certain period of time. So I don't want to just have makeup forever and ever and ever after it expires. Um, next, let's look at my essence. Um, they're completely certified organic company in Australia. Um, I just have a few products left from them, but this one is their fast and it's like a weight loss supplement. Um, I got it from my husband and you're supposed to just take this in a shake for three days straight and he only lasted about one day and he was having some digestive complaints from that, but I think it did help him lose weight at least temporarily. So I really don't know the true effectiveness of this. I don't know if we're going to get use over it again or if it's already gone bad, but we got some use out of it. Um, these two things, this is an air freshener, so we do use that and it, um, it smells really good actually. It's just we don't use it very frequently, so that's why it lasts us for a while and I would only use an air freshener with natural ingredients in this has natural ingredients. Um, and same with bug sprays too, you gotta be careful with that. Um, and this was actually pretty effective, I gotta say. And then we have aftershave. My husband's been going through that. Um, breath spray, which we don't use very frequently. And he has another one at work. Um, this is perfume. And it smells okay, but it's not really the scent that I would have chosen for myself, but at least it's a better alternative to, you know, synthetic fragrances and colognes out there. And then lastly, I don't know if we'll use this at all. It's just a body powder. I've never used body powder before. Um, there's nothing harmful in it. All natural organic ingredients in here. Um, but again, I don't really see the purpose of it. And I went onto their website to just look like what to use body powder for. And it didn't really have any suggestions. Um, here it just says shake powder into your hand and smooth onto skin. Helps prevent chafing. Keeps you dry and fresh. Um, I don't really have a problem with chafing, but I guess if you did, that would help. Um, and they also suggested, um, in a group I was in at least, that you could use it as dry shampoo, but I don't know, I feel like it would make your hair look white. So maybe if you were blonde, that would work well, but not so well if you're not blonde. Um, okay, moving on, we have one last product from Canaway, and it's just a tiny bit of CBD oil left that my husband has been using. And then, um, some of this stuff goes off camera, but the rest of the stuff over here is my Purium products. And unfortunately with Purium, they do have good products. They're not junk. It's certified organic stuff. And the product that attracted to me to that company was their Biomedic, which is an anti-glyphosate supplement. It helps to remove it from your gut. Um, but again, I was going to say that the problem with Purium is that you have to have a minimum of 50 points a month, um, which can be anywhere from 75 to around $90 a month that you're spending. So even though you're getting paychecks, hopefully you are, um, you may not be making more than what you're spending, which was my case. I never ended up making more than what I was spending. I came close sometimes, but um, this past month, I just decided to cancel my smart order. And especially because I kept on ordering products that I didn't really need. Um, and I'll go through them with you. Look, um, well, this one I actually could use as a probiotic. One of the few things I could. Um, my husband's been going through this one. This is the women's defense. Um, it's like an all natural multivitamin with um, real food ingredients, but I'm actually allergic to a couple of the ingredients in here, so I can't take it. That was sent to me by mistake. 
um, be energetic. My husband actually um, found that it did give him some energy and it's like bee pollen and some other things in there. Um, this is Super Amino 23 and this supplement is really meant for vegans because if you're not eating meat, then you might need some essential amino acids and that's what the supplement is for. But since we are meat eaters in this house, it doesn't really make sense for us to have it. Um, this is Enzyme Advantage and these are like, um, if you're having trouble digesting food, then you can take them. And I took it one time just as an experiment, um, but my stomach started burning after taking the supplement. So I guess you really shouldn't take it unless you actually need it. Uh, oh, this is another enzyme advantage. Um, I think my husband might get use out of those, hopefully. Um, this is cocoa hydrate. This is pretty good. It's um, just a powdered um, cocoa, coconut water, essentially, but it has other ingredients in there for electrolytes. Um, so I have been using it like after a workout to for more energy. Um, so yeah, if you were wanting to get coconut water and not try to get the fresh stuff all the time, that would be a way to get it without um, letting anything spoil. Um, this is to help control your appetite. It has Garcinia Cambodia extract. Uh, this is CBD oil. <laughs> all this is really high quality stuff, by the way, but it's just expensive. And again, like I had us I, I was purchasing things that we didn't necessarily need. So that was the problem. And that's probably a problem with a lot of people. That, this is really the whole point of my video is that you end up with all these products and that you may or may not use. And in our case, we're hoping to use it, of course. Um, oh, I showed you that already. Um, these are tart cherry juice concentrate and it's pretty good. I've actually made it for some of my friends and they've liked that. Um, my last bottle of coconut oil, I actually have another one open, so there's something else off camera. Um, and then these last two are the powdered fruit supplements. Um, and I just like use them in yogurt or smoothies. Um, so now that I've canceled my smart order, hopefully in the next few months we can get through these supplements and I will actually maybe give away some of them in my giveaways once I reach a certain amount of subscribers. I'm planning on doing giveaways with each 100 subscribers that I have up until a thousand. So make sure you subscribe, of course. Um, and then the rest of these are my beauty counter products that I have gotten this year. And as I said in my first anti-MLM video, that's um, the one company I am really conflicted about because um, I'm not going to get into all the reasons in this video. You can watch the other one. But um, one of the reasons is their new skincare line. It's the new counter timeline to replace the old one and it actually is really amazing like I've, I've had really good results with my skin um, especially being a second time mom I'm getting even less sleep than before um, taking care of two little ones sometimes you end up losing sleep especially if you don't go to bed early enough um, which can be a problem with me unfortunately but um, I started using this right after my daughter, my second daughter was born and my skin looked so much more amazing after using it. And the great thing about it is that, um, it's an anti-aging line and most anti-aging lines use retinol, which is a really harmful ingredient, but they use an alternative, which is Bacuchiol and Swiss Alpine Rose. And it really is a great combo and people are saying it's even better than retinol. So that's where I'm conflicted. I'm like, I like, even if I were no longer a rep, um, 
I would still want to get it as a customer because of how great the results have been with my own skin. Um, but maybe it is overpriced. Maybe there are other companies out there that are safe, like using clean ingredients and um, they're effective. So I would like to personally find something out there that that are both of those, that is both of those things, um, clean and effective and using Bakuchiol, I guess, as an alternative. So if you guys know about alternatives already, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it. Um, but yeah, just to recap, um, my point in making this video was like a follow-up to my first anti-MLM video, um, just showing another reason not to join MLMs because you end up with a bunch of products that you don't necessarily need or sometimes people end up with products that are complete junk and then they have like a whole garage full of product um, or inventory like in Lula Rose case which is really terrible. Oh, and I probably should put a disclaimer out there that this is all my opinion. I'm not trying to shame or guilt anyone. I'm just trying to share my experience, what has happened to me and how I had all the intentions of making money and I didn't end up making money. I ended up losing money or just breaking even with most of these companies. And that is, a really horrible shame and that is the case with 99% of people who join MLMs unfortunately so I hope this video has helped you and that you don't make the same mistakes as me if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell you'll know when I post until next time bye